and off we go. We're off to Chicago, Illinois, home to things like the deep dish pizza, the Bears, the Bulls, the White Sox, and the Cubs. But this time, it will play host to the return of Winnie City PonyCon in Schaumburg, Illinois. And a good, good Thursday morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Red Card here. Uh, it is just about 10 after 7 in the morning, and we are on our way, we'll, we, we'll, we soon will be on our way to uh, the airport to go to Winnie City Pony Con 2022. This is the first time after a three year hiatus uh, because of COVID uh, that uh, this event will be taking place. This is the first time I will be going to this event. Uh, and this is actually the first time that this uh, convention is actually under new ownership. Uh, uh, in case you didn't know, earlier in the year there was a bit of drama involving Charlie's Cons uh, and um, and its former owner, Michelle and uh, Charlie and, uh, and, and Michelle Wardley um, bought both uh, Winnie City and Ponyville Ciderfest. Um, and um, and uh, they now run them and have ownership of them. So, uh, yeah, uh, that was a good move on their part. But it, uh, uh, they've had to pretty much rush the process of trying to get this get this event together. Um, th um, this one in particular, uh, uh, Winter City Polycon, uh, in the span of about uh, five six months. Uh, so, so they've had to pretty much fast track everything, and um, but I don't know how it's gone well behind the scenes. But on the surface, uh, everything uh, everything is looks like it's gone well. I, I hope that you know. Be, I, I know that I probably Charlie's under a bit of stress because of this, but um, I I as as con chair, I really wish him well, and I really wish the the, uh, the entire staff of Winnie City Pony Con well this weekend. Um, this weekend uh, also is going to be my second official time as a community guest. Uh, and I'm really excited about that. Taylor as well is going to be a community guest with me. Um, we're going to be host we're going to be part of five events this weekend actually. Today, yes today, we are going to be do um, be part of the Buckball uh, tournament hosted by Crackle's Cousin Cosplay. Yeah, that's how the schedule pretty much works. We're going to be doing Buckball today uh, after we get our badges. Hopefully we get a lot of, we hopefully we get a big turnout. Um, tomorrow we're going to be part of opening ceremonies obviously. And uh, we're also going to be part of the community guest meet and greet. We're going to be part of our uh, the sports morning panel hosted by May World. It's also going to be having Taylor, Statman Dan, and Princess Big Mac on it. Uh, and then on Saturday, we are going to be I'm going to be part of Taylor's Blabcom webcam hangout panel, like it was at BabsCon and like I hosted at HarmonyCon, and he was a part of. So yeah, we got to pretty much stacked weekend. Tomorrow is going to be our busiest day. Uh, and, yeah, so, <laughs> it, it's, I'm, I'm expecting a fun weekend, um, it's gonna be just Taylor and me, uh, rooming together, um, just, just the two of us, and, um, yeah, it's gonna, I, um, I expect there to be a lot of, uh, a lot of insanity, a lot of hilarity, we're gonna be having guests, um, uh, guests of honor like, um, Jenna Warren, who is the voice of Sunny, the the new voice of Sunny Star Scout in the Gen Five MLP series, we're going to be having Nicole Oliver, who is the voice of Princess Princess. I, I almost said Princess Cheerley, Princess Celestia, and Cheerley. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> the um, I'm pretty sure that 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 a fanfic has been written about that. Uh, yeah, and we're also going to be having um. Tony Fleeks, uh, as well, uh, as well as Raquel Belmont, who is the voice of Kerfuffle in uh, the My Little Pony television special, Rainbow Road Trip. So, those are the guests of honor for uh, for this weekend. We're also going to be having certain community guests, like, of course, AC Race Best, Saber Spark, Paleo Steno, uh, Jay Haller, uh, Argo Demon, Baja Griffin, Cosmic Keefim, I'm reading from this, um, uh, 
Crackle's Cousin Cosplay, obviously, The Illustrious Q, uh, uh, Cat Puts, Luximus, Midnight Premiere, Nevelin, I said Paleo Senna already, The Rift Ponies, I said Saber Spark already, Silver Quill, and of course Taylor Bo McCardle. And then of course musicians such as Forever Free Brony, Bolt the Super Pony, Evershade, uh, Forsake, Koa, Loop Hoof, Loudsdale, Melody Brony, Nevermourn, Pony Abstract, Rod Steven, uh, Sound Bandit, Vocal Score, Whirly, and Whirly Tail. Those are the guests of honor. I, I, I forgot to mention myself because I already be, I, I'm in, in that list of guests of honor, of, of, of community guests because I already said I'm going to be a community guest. If you're not, my name is on that list. If you don't believe me, I, I, I can show you. It's right there. It should be a fun weekend this weekend, and so uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to probably start going to the um start start going to the airport for um uh for uh for a fight which is a, actually at 10:40 a.m. um and uh yeah let's get this weekend off and running city was actually modeled after Chicago, I believe, so <laughs> it all comes full circle, I guess. Uh, but yeah, uh, Statman Dan is actually, he says he's in the baggage claim right now um, to, uh, to, because he's the one who's going to be picking me up. And uh, I should also mention that, um, that um, uh, if you've ever seen like the, the Home Alone movies, um, you should know that, uh, that uh, one and two have, uh, um, have were both filmed in, uh, in this airport. And I think that this is actually where, uh, in the second movie, um, Kevin McAllister got um, uh, played by, uh, my, by Macaulay Culkin got got, uh, uh, got split off from from his family and got on the wrong flight. But yeah, this is. I mean, <laughs> I mean, 
the, these corridors and uh, and these flags reminds me of just the McAllister family just just rushing to the plane. <laughs> so yeah, so um, yeah, I think and I think it was this concourse actually that uh, which which was uh, which um, that um, the, the scene I was talking about with uh, from Home Alone 2 was filmed that. So yeah. This is the start of the weekend for Winnie City PonyCon, and uh, I'm uh, really looking forward to it. Um, yeah, I just need to get my bags for some baggage cream, and then we're off to Schaumburg. Oh my. So, what are your like, uh, This is actually the second time I've actually been in this airport in, uh, in two months because, um, although I didn't, I, I, didn't, I, I didn't film here before. Um, I actually had a layover here for BabsCon uh, when I flew out to San Francisco. So, uh, yeah, uh, and I'm going the right way. Okay. I'm uh, vlogging. I'm a YouTuber. There you go. <laughs> oh. Two, five. So he's probably. And this is. I'm on gate nine. So this is. So he's probably. A little bit further down. <laughs> this is probably the biggest airport that I've seen ever, aside from Denver or Frankfurt, for that matter. And I think I, I think I see him. I think. I <laughs> oh my! And it's, damn it! It's not focusing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man of the hour. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my. <laughs> Did they change the gate on you at the last minute or <laughs> No, no, not not that not that not this not this time, no. <laughs> The, la the last time this guy picked me up was for Ponyville Cider Fest in 2019, and, and out of Philadelphia at that time, they did change the gate on me. Uh, but uh, but no such no such luck this time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As you see, they're rebuilding uh, some of the carousels. <laughs> yeah. The the maintenance never stops at probably one of the world's busiest airports. Yes. Hartsfield Jackson in. Uh, uh, Atlanta um, uh, is probably now the busiest airport, not only in the world, but not only in the United States, but probably the world as probably, well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, speaking speaking of Atlanta, there, there's going to be a couple people here this weekend. They're just coming from MomoCon. It just happened last weekend, right. uh, including AC Race Best, Saber Spark, um, Black Griffin, and, 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 and Claire are not going to be here this weekend. So. Sorry, which means, uh, no Nora. which means no Nora. That's right. <laughs> Nora and, and and Nora was also at at, at, at Momoka. Yeah. It seems like that everyone, every every seems like that most people that I know was at Momocon last Shelby weekend. Was at Momo Sh Shelby was there. Sarah was there. Nora was there. Ray Spess was there. Saber was there. Paleo was there. Jack Blade was there. I mean. <laughs> And this is a one-week turnaround for some of those people who are going to be here this weekend. So I mean, <laughs> I, 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 I mean, they, they have a, I mean, I mean, in this fan, I mean, in, in this fandom, they have a busy schedule. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. I got a busy schedule. I got. I pick up you, and then at uh, four o'clock, I pick up Taylor. Pick up Taylor, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to be waiting around the. I'm going to be waiting around the hotel lobby for, uh, basically engaging in lobby con for at least the next three, four hours. Um, I'm already checked into my hotel. Yeah. So, waiting bags from, from not only Philadelphia but also San Francisco, which I, which I, I was just, I was just telling them. That, that this is my second time at this airport in two months because I had a layover for BabsCon uh, back in April. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, it comes, it comes full circle. Chicago Cubs parking, level one, and bus shuttle. Go Bears. <laughs> and we're off and running. Yes. 
I like the, the, the design of the city flag. Yeah. Four stars represent each of the uh, significant events in Chicago. Like one for the Great Chicago Fire, one for the uh, Columbian Exposition of 1893. There's one for the uh, 1933 World's Fair. I forget what the fourth one was, but... Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, that's what each of the four stars mean. Okay. Thank you for parking with us. Please insert ticket followed by credit card. You're welcome. They had Chicago won the 2016 Olympics, they would have had a fifth star on the flag. Ah. Uh, but they got beaten out by Rio. Yeah. In fact, more embarrassing. We're the, fir we're the first city out. I remember that. I remember... I remember, like, be I was in high school at the time. I remember... Like, like, keeping track of like what of, of what was going on in the um, the uh, the voting, and I remember he I, 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 hearing that 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 Chicago was the first one eliminated, and I was like, what? Yeah. So that that's that's stunk. But we um but the but the U S is going to be hosting the Olympics in 2020 in, in Los Angeles. So that's good. That's good. Yep. Welcome to Chicago. Let's go. Let's go to Ponyville Cider Fest instead. <laughs> That's uh, November. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> but we need to take this to get to Ninety West and to Schaumburg. Yep. Do you realize that we could uh, that they, if, if we wanted to, if we wanted to we could where we could take I ninety West all the way to Seattle for Ever Free Northwest if we I wanted to. Yeah. In fact, it's when I went to the Mariners game at Everfree uh, back in August, last August, I, it took 90, and at the very end is uh, T-Mobile Park, so hmm. that's where they used to play softball, right? the ballpark at Rosemont, so. Oh, okay. And the team called, they're called the Bandits. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. We'll see you in November, Milwaukee. <laughs> Look at this Southwest plane. Uh, yeah, they, they just, uh, they have some flights out here. They're mostly at Midway still, but. Yeah, uh, there, uh, there, there aren't, there aren't, there isn't service. I don't think there's, I don't think there's service yet from Philly to uh, O'Hare via uh, Southwest yeah, yet. in fact, Southwest is at Terminal 5, which is the international terminal. Uh. For a second there, for a second there, I thought that said 115 miles per hour instead of 15. <laughs> there in the, right there, that's all State Arena. State Arena, well, behind the, behind the, behind this truck of, of steel beams. Behind the... <laughs> These damn trucks. I'll see. Ah, no, it's not. <laughs> it's fine. Just still find the higher place. There. There we go. I'll stay to read off. Home of the Chicago the Wolves. Which is the AHL team. Ah, the AHL. The Chicago Blackhawks play at United Center. Yes. WWE also goes to uh, Rosemont because it's cheaper. Uh, then, 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 then United Center. Then, and I guess Vince McMahon hosts Dallas Stevens or whatever. Mm. Stevens family from the town. Have a good hair day. <laughs> <laughs> and Brian Urlacher, Hall of Famer. And it's the same one for the <laughs> the next billboard. I swear, the, these 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 restore hair billboards are are are, are stalking me. I swear to God. <laughs> I don't have problem with my hair. There it is, right over there. It's only the trees are not getting away. <laughs> And drove a long way from Arizona. Yeah. 
right, so um, we just um, we just entered the uh, the high <laughs> we just entered the high regency at Schomburg and um, you can see pretty much not much yet going on um, but yeah the, this 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 weekend is gonna be pretty busy this is gonna be I think quite a number of people here um, yeah this is. Here it is. <laughs> it's going to be an exciting weekend. Um, we, uh, we're off to um, the airport once again to actually pick up Taylor. It's right now 328. Um, uh, yeah, and he's supposed to actually get in just before actually 430. Actually left elbow on May 3rd. Legendary University of Notre Dame Administrator Roger Valdesiri is down to the age of 95. One time administrative assistant to legendary head. <laughs> there he is again. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh. 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 <laughs> Hi, everybody. Nice to see you again. <laughs> what, it's been hey, like, Dan, how's it going? It hasn't, hasn't been like a month and a half. Oh, my God. <laughs> it is an Izzy mask. It is an Izzy mask. mask. I got this at um, BatsCon like a month and a half ago. Yeah. Oh, God. You know, if you can look carefully, you might see a cockroach blood, blood, blood <laughs> thing coming up. You look closely enough. I, and, and I think if you look even closer, you can see a very annoyed drummer shy. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, buddy. Hey, Taylor, let's go to Milwaukee now. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's skip what he's saying. Let's go to Snyderfest right now. Let's <laughs> Yeah, I don't mind going to Milwaukee this early. <laughs> Let's drink lots of cider while we're there. <laughs> and cheese curds. Oh my god. Dude, I'm addicted to cheese curds now. After last year. Slow around two weeks. Sorry, Charlie. I, I love you, but we'll see you. Cider fest. <laughs> We're skipping Wednesday. <laughs> we love you, buddy. <laughs> well, either way, we're going to be seeing Charlie. I actually already saw him today. I said hi, and he's and and, 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 and and he said the he said that he couldn't really talk. He has like a million things on his plate. Well, now that it is considered one of his concerts, now he and Michelle own it. Bought it. So, um, yeah. Yeah, he's got a lot on his agenda this weekend, as do we. Yep. I swear to God, there there is always a Bible. There is always a Bible in the in the hotel room. Because after we've done our services here, we have to. We have to go to church. We have to then go to church on Sunday. <laughs> I'm, uh. Especially if you visit the after dark venue. Federal. That's when you need to go to confession on Sunday. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. <laughs> That's putting it mildly, 007. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, the time is now 5.48 p.m. Uh, we're on our way down to get our badges. Um, and this is going to be very confusing. I, I won't be able to remember which way to go down. <laughs> figure this out as we go. <laughs> these, do these doors don't wait for you. <laughs> no, they're, they're, they'll, they'll, they'll kill you out here. Not as bad as the place I work at. <laughs> they literally knocked me over. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I just, I, just, I just picked up my badge. Community guest. I've, uh, I, I, I've seen... Hello, say hi to the vlog Spiky Dash. Hi! And say hi to the vlog Paleo. You go, go! <laughs> <laughs> And Taylor's getting his his Earth Pony um, package. I, I got my Griffin package as well. Oh my God! See, I, it's a good thing I finally got a suitcase that I can actually fit everything in. Because you know what? <laughs> this is the amount of mu much of merchandise I end up coming home with anyway. 
I'm actually, I'm actually, I'm actually really annoyed because, I, because yesterday I tried fitting all my stuff in, uh, 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 um, into, into, into one checked bag. The problem, and uh, okay, okay. The good news, it worked. Bad news is, it was overweight. Mm -hmm. And I, I just really wanted to avoid having to spend an extra forty bucks hmm. for, uh, for a checked bag, but I have no choice because uh, it weighed too much. Well, that's American for you. <laughs> That's why I take very special that's, <laughs> I wish, the only problem is it takes so long. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm from Philly. That's <laughs> someone from Nevada, so it's a little bit harder than that. Yeah. Yeah, and, 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 and because he's, he's from Vegas, Amtrak doesn't have service to Vegas. No, well, we were supposed to have service long ago, but then, you know, infrastructure got kicked in, and you know what else happened after that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I could. I mean, I mean, I, I could do Amtrak, but the the time it takes and the number of connections, mm -hmm. and that's just not that just doesn't fly with me. Right. I mean, heck, I could have. To be fair, you could have like maybe done it for like maybe BronyCon or something like that. I I I could have, but I didn't. But but you didn't. Which it, and I kind of wish I did, <laughs> so that way I didn't have to pay so much for parking. Well, and considering like half of the Galacasts were like going up there on train anyway. Well, so. uh, well, uh, okay, that that's okay. For, for for the first couple of years, that's not necessarily true. Yeah. Sarah and Shelby drove in the same car. Ah, uh, okay. okay. And um, and, um, and um, it, w it wasn't until like maybe the last maybe two, maybe three years that they that they actually took the train. Ah, uh, okay. I was a little confused on that part. My yeah. Apologies. <laughs> 